and now you know directly opposed to infaq is riba what is infaq we had we have read the ayah yasaluna ka maza yunfiqun qul al af whatever is surplus with you you give away for the cause of allah give away to the needy in the form of sadqa give away for the deen of allah for infaq fi sabilillah this is infaq what is riba whatever is surplus with you you invest so that you earn more and the worst form of earning is that you want to get the benefit you want to get the profit at a fixed rate you don't care whether the, the person to whom you have given that money whether he is earning or losing you must get your pound of flesh that is riba so these are absolutely different if absolutely opposite to each other that is why the same principle of contrast after these two sections on infaq now you have one section of this surah on riba which is diagonally opposite to infaq fi sabilillah the spirit of infaq is whatever is surplus with you whatever is more than you need give it away don't keep it with you and give it away for the sake of allah if you are investing it to gain more well if you want to do it but through halal means that is permissible at least although it is not that position that is the highest position you give away everything that is surplus you give away yes allah ka maza yunfiqun qul af but if you don't give away you give it to someone as loan goodly loans without getting any interest or riba on it so that he can fulfill his needs for the time being or you invest in muzaraba or something else which is legally permissible according to the sharia then it is okay although it is a lower level the higher level is that you give it away you mada yunfiqun qul laf but if you go more lo lower than that you give it on riba you don't want to take the risk in muzaraba that is great risk if there is loss you lose all your money the whole capital money is gone in muzaraba you are not ready to take that risk and now you are giving on riba this is absolutely haram and the most biggest haram in islam is riba nothing is like riba in islam please note it the biggest crime the biggest sin is riba and that will be clear from this section allazina yunfiquna amwalahum again here in fa first because Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala wants to show us the contrast. Allazina yunfiquna amwalahum bil layl wan nahar sirran wa alaniyatan. Those people who spend their wealth and their money, their belongings for the pleasure of Allah bil layl during the night, wan nahar as well as during the day, sirran secretly also as well as alaniyatan and openly also. Allahum majruhum in darabbihim. For them is their reward. It is ensured with their with their Lord. Wala khafun alayhim, wala hum yasalun. There will be no fear upon them, nor they will be grieving. In contrast, now begin. Allazina yaqulun riba. On the other hand, to the contrary, those who are eating, endeavouring. interest and usury please note always in riba use two words for translation not one usury as well as interest both are covered by riba there shouldn't be any doubt in the mind of any muslim both are covered by riba and it is a very historical incident that has happened in pakistan in our country that the highest court the sharia court federal sharia court that has given the final judgment that the bank interest commercial interest is also covered by riba it is also riba there is no doubt about it a very big document has been prepared although there were people who opposed it that riba is only usury this commercial interest or bank interest is not riba very big lawyers of the level of stature of sm zafar must be knowing many of people here must be knowing him and khalid ishaq 
वन फ्रॉम पंजाब दी अदर फ्रॉम कराची बोथ डिड देयर बेस्ट टू प्रूव दैट द बैंक इंटरेस्ट इज नॉट रिबा बट द कोर्ट गेव द फाइनल जजमेंट इट्स वेरी ऑथेंटिक जजमेंट ए वेरी बिग फीट इन डीड दैट अल्लाह सुबहान व तला हैज एनेबल्ड द मुस्लिम देयर टू डू ऑल दो दीज थिंग्स आर ओनली ऑन पेपर इन प्रैक्टिस एवरीथिंग देयर इज द सेम एज एनी वेयर एल्स एज इन हियर एज एनी वेयर एल्स but at least this this you know theory this has been proved and this is the judgment of a court that is why i am using both the words alladheena yaakulun wa riba those who are eating and devouring usually or interest la yaqumuna illa kama yaqum alladhi yataqabbatuhu an-nas min al-bas he doesn't stand or he will not rise except as like the one whom shaitan has maddened by his touch zalika bi annahum qalu innama al-bay'u mislu riba and this is because they have said that trade is also just like riba usually interest wa ahallallahu al-bay'a wa harrama riba and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared bay trading as permissible wa harrama riba and he has declared haram He has declared absolutely impermissible what is riba, that is interest as well as usury. For manja who mourns at all, so to whomsoever this admonition has come, may Rabbi he from his Lord, fantaha, and he stops taking riba, eating riba. For lahu ma salaf, so he will not be deprived of, and he can keep with him. the gains of the past whatsoever he has had up till now on account of that riba he can keep it wa amruhu ila allah but his matter is with allah allah will decide about him it's not the clean slate it's only the legal aspect here you can keep up till now whatever you have earned through riba keep it now because that admonition has come to you now you have to stop for whatever you have earned now it cannot be accounted no account can show up till now how much he has earned through riba how how much he was he has been earning through lawful means so it is because impossible so keep it it will not be investigated into and that will remain with you for lahu ma salaf he can keep it wa amruhu ila allah but the matter rests with allah subhanahu wa taala wa man aada but whosoever repeats and reverts to riba even after this final declaration of allah subhanahu wa taala fa ulai ka ashabun nar hum fiha khalidun so they are the people of fire and they will remain in it forever forever